Welcome to PM Movie Recaps. Today's pick is an action thriller film of 2018, Breaking In. If you're ready, let's enjoy the video. The film opens with a man named Isaac going for a job from the city to a suburban neighborhood. He gets hit by a pickup truck on the way. The driver steps out of the car and walks over to Isaac and stomps his head in. Sometime later, Isaac's estranged daughter Sean Russell is driving to Isaac's old home with her kids Jasmine and Glover in order to settle the estate and sell the house. Upon arriving to the house, Glover finds security cameras in the basement, along with a remote that controls everything in the house. Hours later, as Sean is ordering pizza, four criminals, Peter, Sam, Duncan, and Leader Eddie, break into the house and take Jasmine and Glover hostage. Peter attacks Sean outside, but she fights him off and stabs him with a broken wine glass. When she tries to get into the house, she finds Eddie standing over the kids menacingly. Peter chases after Sean into the woods with a crowbar. She fights him and manages to knock him unconscious when he hits his head on a rock. She leaves him bound and gagged. Sean runs back to the house to speak to Eddie on the intercom. He says they only came for the safe in the house containing $4 million. They have 90 minutes before the security company calls the police and they want to find the money immediately. Duncan is bloodthirsty and thinks they should kill everyone since they saw their faces, but Eddie is more relaxed about it. As Sean tries to find a way inside the house, Maggie, the real estate agent, comes to the house with paperwork for Sean. She is greeted at the door by Eddie, who says that Sean went into town for groceries. When Maggie notices Sean's car is still there, as well as her purse, she becomes suspicious and decides to leave. Before she can get to her car, Duncan attacks her and slits her throat, which Sean sees. Eddie and Sam chastise Duncan for this. Sean manages to get her hands on firecrackers as she sneaks around the house to find a way in. She sets off the firecrackers and breaks the security lights. The villains try to find her, but Sean manages to find a way in and get to the kids. She gets to Jasmine and tells her what to do so she and Glover can stay safe. With time running out, Sean has to get out as the villains go back to the room with the kids. Jasmine tells Eddie she knows where the safe is. She leads them to a room where she pulls back a tile on the wall and the safe is revealed hidden by the closet. However, only Peter knows how to open the safe. The villains go outside as Sean comes back with Peter and a knife held at his throat. Knowing that they need him, she demands that they let the kids come out so they can leave together and they can take the money. Eddie responds by shooting Peter dead and forcing Sean to run back into the woods. Eddie takes a flash drive off a necklace that Peter was wearing so that they can open the safe. They then tie the kids up as Duncan starts to dump kerosene everywhere so they can light the place on fire. Sean makes another attempt to save the kids by coming from the roof, but she is found by Duncan and Sam. After a tense moment, Sean takes the rope she was holding and swings down to the ground after pushing Sam off the roof, where he dies after his head hits the ground. Meanwhile, Jasmine cuts herself and Glover loose. Eddie finds them, but Jasmine manages to stab him before Glover takes his gun. He fires at Eddie and misses. Sean takes Sam's keys as the kids run out of the house. They make it to Sam's truck as Duncan walks up from behind. Sean goes in reverse and runs Duncan over, but Eddie shoots at the truck and causes them to crash. Sean and then the kids run back to the house and lock themselves in. Soon, Sean's husband Justin arrives and is attacked by Eddie. He makes his way back in the house and finds Sean holding a lighter over the money bag after she poured kerosene on it. She knows that if Eddie kills her, she will just drop the lighter and he will lose what he came for. Eddie takes out the cartridge from the gun, and Sean lets him take the money. However, Duncan returns and stabs Eddie to death. He goes after Sean and threatens to rape her and Jasmine. Jasmine arrives to help her mom, but Duncan overpowers her. Sean goes for Eddie's gun, but Duncan kicks it away. Before he can do anything else, Sean swipes his knife and stabs him dead. In the end, Sean goes outside to hold Justin and their kids close as the police arrive. Thank you for watching. But before leaving please make sure that you click subscribe and turn on the notification so that you can enjoy watching more videos like this.